I have a question. Does Loom need to break in? So um, let me show you this. I'm kind of, what do I say? When I got this watch, and this is uh, 20 years, um, I, I got this uh, in the 2000s. I was a teenager and the Loom on this is great. I will show you in a second. And it has some green loom on it. Like uh, then I got the Casio a couple of months ago or a month ago and it has a uh, white loom and it's a relatively cheap watch. And the uh, loom, when I got it, was really poor. I wasn't showing all that much. But with time, just by wearing it, the loom got better. And then um, I got this watch, like uh, which I call the luck of the Irish, the fossil watch, and I this is a fossil, and so I told myself, well, um, a fossil produced um, great loomed watches twenty years ago. They can't be like it. It it can't be worse. So I trusted the loom, but this loom, when it came, it was kind of really bad, and. Um, pretty poor and 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 uh, it wouldn't like it did nothing um, and now let's see like can you see this like uh, we're here on the fossil which I'm covering up it's a pretty green loom this is a white loom and this fossil right here um, has a patina loom but um, I think it's starting to break in and I was wearing this fossil watch, um, the luck of the Irish, which I call it. Um, this one I was wearing yesterday, and it's not bright sunlight. It's not like um, you shouldn't you shouldn't expose things to bright sunlight. Not your guitars, not your watches, because um, it will it will mess with the colors with time. Like I, I paint uh, also pictures, and and uh, sunlight will will brighten that over time. But as you can see, I'm just, it's its um, a kind of grayish um, late April's day. It's uh, the 30s, 30, 30th of April and it's a Sunday and it's a pretty cloudy day. But I think that is where Loom, um, where the Loom gets the most out of it. I, I have to see how how loom works but it's not bright sunlight it's not the sun sure sometimes it's um, a light like this but just letting um this watches catch a bit of um, daylight not even bright daylight just normal daylight and uh, it makes a night and day difference again i show you like again watch this screen like this is a banger loom and this is a pretty decent loom and again it's just it's just um two hands or three a three hander pretty simple so there's no loom applied it's a printed dial so nothing that special and um the fossil well we have to see a fossil how it's holding up in the industry and uh if it's even still relevant but I'm kind of enjoying the watch. I think uh, maybe the, the the Cyclops is not perfectly aligned or not good aligned. I have to see, like, you, you see what I mean? Uh, it's maybe a bit wonky. I don't know. Like, maybe. Uh, but maybe I'm holding it also not exactly the way it should. But, yeah, the loom was pretty poor. But I, I had faith that it um, would break in, and we'll see if it will over time. Um, I know this is a pretty, <laughs> a pretty strange video, but well, what do I have to say? Like that's 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 sometimes the things I ask myself: Does Loom need to break in because I enjoy it very much, and it looks like it. And uh, then again, sometimes like let me let me show you this me like s s yeah it doesn't show. Um, 
well i end this video now and i hope you enjoy this so if you have a watch with uh weak loom or maybe some say uh, under 200 um, dollars or euros you will get nothing that's good and i know the seikos are bangers but maybe you take out your watch and you give them a little light normal daylight of course um, this used to have loom uh, i can loom this and this is the watch of my father um, and as you can see it's pretty old and it looms and then within a second or two it fades and um, this I will attempt to reloom and to restorate. I don't know how yet, but if uh, if and when I have the time, I will do it. Um, and yeah, we will see us.